Greetings everyone, Irish Trekkie, back another Star Trek, the official Starships Collection issue review, this time featuring issue 140, we have the Federation Tug. Um, interesting ship, uh, I know a few people's eyebrows were raised, kind of going, okay, um, some may not be familiar with the ship, we should get some interesting insights in the magazine nonetheless. So, um, as always, uh, sit back, relax, thanks for stopping by, uh, let's put the ship to one side, and uh, interesting... So far, but uh, spoilers, spoilers. Let's have a look at the magazine, shall we? So we have our graphic here, or warp capable tug. So this is a towing vessel launched 24th century, length of 90 meters with a uh, max speed of warp six. So interesting profile for a Federation vehicle. Um, crew of six, so we have, interestingly enough, we have additional sections here. Uh, normally we have four, so we have Federation Tug designing the ship, designing the Ketrasol White facility, Doug Drexler's scenic artist profile, very cool, and uh, on-screen appearances. So we have our um, close-up graphics here, but let's see, let's see what goodies, let's see what goodies are here. Um, the Federation Tug was an odd-looking ship, but it was built for a purely practical point of view. Um, it was designed to be able to remove um, partially attached uh, parts or twist them back into place. Oh, interesting. With the mechanical arm making a standard ship, uh, a stranded ship secure for towing. Its powerful tractor beam um, could haul vessels to safety as well. So it was used in the 24th century to tow vessels primarily back to repair facilities or even junkyards. Here we see it towing... Um, an Excelsior class uh, ship there as well. Um, boom, 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 boom. So tugs uh, latched onto the saucer section of the USS Fredrickson uh, with two tractor beams to tow it to safety after the ship was lo lost propulsion during the Battle of the Dominion Forces. So in battle as well, so that's pretty cool. Um, again, a very practical ship, all the same, um, to be honest with you. Um, as regards to the anatomy of it, um, and the deflector dishes are in there, a tractor beam emitters, warp nacelles, mechanical grappler arms, and um, yeah, it's pretty cool. So yeah, again, we've seen junkyards before, and there is that kind of practical side off it as well. Um, what do we have here? Uh, so the Ptolemy class ships uh, were used as tugs. This type of ship only ever appeared on display graphics as Starfleet Academy bridge simulation in Star Trek uh, 2, Wrath of Khan, and Star Trek 3. In truth, the Ptolemy class was made uh, more like a transport ship. Um, okay, it was more like a transport ship than anything else. So this is very specific as a kind of tug side of things. Um, here we have very cool uh, reference shots of the model here. Um, again, you can see a lot of blue accents here as well. Because again, you know, you're filming these, they do appear a little bit uh, different on screen. So the Federation tug was constructed by visual effects coordinator Judy Elkins, who used various parts from several different model kits. So kit bashing to the max, which is pretty cool. And um, created what we know as the tug. Um, the CG render of the Federation tug here shows how the model uh, could have looked um, if they had switched to CG. Um, but again, you know, there is the, the practical side of it as well. Um, so there's going to be a lot of good, interesting stuff there. Um, here we have, I suppose maybe because it was kind of kit bashing, there wasn't really any kind of massive kind of concept art here. But again, we get to see concept art for uh, the character Sol White from the awesome um, John Eves as well. So there's going to be some great insights into that also. Um, here we have a profile of Doug Drexler. And don't forget, I think it's a news agent uh, as far as I can see. But um, it's still up for pre-order online, but uh, do check it out. Uh, 31 euro or 25 pounds. But again, there's always discount codes flying around the place. So do check them out before you make a purchase. Um, what can I say? Doug Drexler. Uh, absolutely awesome person and a uh, phenomenal um, part of the Star Trek production um, legacy as well. So there's going to be some great information in there and uh, some nice little insights into his time on Star Trek as well. So fantastic, very interesting and um, very engaging on Facebook as well. So do check that out. 
and uh, that's the magazine so again i'm glossing over these because i want you to be able to enjoy it maybe as a christmas read um but yeah let's wrap up there for that and uh coming up in the next uh, installment of the collection we have issue 41 the tapau um vulcan ship as well so stay tuned for that um oh by the by first appearance in a time to stand in d space 9 and uh, designed again by Judy Elkins as well. So let's close out on the back graphic and let's actually get up close and personal with the Federation tug, shall we? Ahoy, here we go. Let's take it out. Uh, very light, actually, for its size, kind of deceivingly light. Um, some of the smaller ships, you know, you can have that kind of two way street where you're surprised by the weight of certain ships, but um, I would have felt. Maybe kind of like a dumb weight on the inside of it would be good. Um, 606 Tug. <laughs> you know, not Federation Tug or anything like that. This is just Tug. Tug, tug Face Tuggington. Um, what is it? Was it Tuggy Mac Tug Face? I think we, 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 we call this ship. So let's put that to one side. And uh, let's get up close with this ship, shall we? Um, so far, so good. It, it's an odd ship. Like, you're going to... Ah, oh, it's it's just so quirky. Um, uh, it's kind of cool to have it in the collection, but um, it's as I say, it's form, uh, function over form in this instance. There, plastic inserts for the nacelles, which is nice. Uh, painted. Well, actually, I I'm assuming these are the impulse up here as well, which is a nice kind of configuration. Um, deflector dishes are pretty cool, in there. Grappler arms, um, tractor beam emitters. Everything is nicely sculpted and there's a lot of greebling, you know, kind of from the kit bash uh, origins of this ship as well. So a lot of that's detailed in there, which is pretty cool. Um, same, both port and starboard. Um, there isn't really any pennants on this, to be honest with you. Um, I'm not sure if there was on the CG model or the model itself, but you do have the kind of traditional kind of Federation striping. Um, but there's nothing else that kind of says Federation bar, maybe the, the kind of nacelles to it. Um, paint wise, uh, you have a lot of that kind of gold, kind of sand brown pops there for some of the detailing. You do have Aztecing on it as well. There's a lot of flat areas without any detailing, as you can see on the sides in here as well. But again, there's kind of some slightly different shades of grey. Uh, it's nice. It's It's just... It's just kind of quirky. It's, it's just different, um, to say the least. But uh, actually, you can kind of see some struts down there as well, which is kind of nice. They're very well hidden in there. So that's a nice subtle. It could have easily been left out, to be honest with you. But that's it's cool that it's included included in the mould. Um, die cast belly. Plastic top. Seams are well hidden. Um, as regards to mounting right through the kind of central kind of rib uh kind of girders that seem to kind of be crossing it so there's going to be ha there would have to be kind of a lot of rigidity in here for like torque and stuff like that i assume um when you're kind of towing large vessels obviously you know you, you're in a um space but there's still a lot of mass to move you know and um when you're towing like starships uh that's a pretty hefty job to say the least so that's it on its stand Let's compare it to a ship in the line, just to kind of get a sense of scale of it, shall we? Now, this is a bit cheeky. This is from the Shuttles collection, so they're small anyway. But I just figured, like, why not get another utility vessel out? So, as you can see by the base, this is the uh, Shuttlecraft, uh, not the Shuttlecraft Cockrit, I don't know why that's there. This is a Worker V, so I must order up my collection there. Maybe this fell off and the other one did as well, so I must swap that around. So if you haven't seen that one, it's, it's, a, it's a cool little shuttlecraft uh, worker bee um, that we've seen many times buzzing around Starfleet ships as well. But um, that's what makes this collection cool. You have the likes of a worker bee side by side, a Federation tug. So you have these fantastic, you know, uh, queens of space like the Enterprise and, um, you know, all the, all the other kind of gorgeous uh, ladies uh, of the Federation. I always kind of... Um, uh, what's the I, I always kind of put a gender of a female on um like those types of machines you know but he she what, what whatever whatever kind of floats your boat but um there's that practical side of um 
science fiction as well that is in um, Star Trek as well. So you see all those kind of utility crafts in the shuttle collections. And again, you know, you have your tug and your worker bee here as well. So um, again, really shaping up to be like 100 and what are we, 140 in here now. So what an epic collection this is. So thanks to, you know, the dedication of the modelers and Ben and all the folks involved in the collection as well. It's it's outstanding. And I say that as a fan. I'm not endorsed or anything like that. Um, but uh, I do get a lot of enjoyment out of collecting these and, you know, meeting like-minded people. So um, with that said, I'm going to wrap it up there. And thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button. And uh, let me know what you thought of the Federation tug. And uh, maybe give me a shout over on any of the social medias. All the links are in the doobly-doo. And you can support the channel over on Patreon and through youtube directly as well um as always uh, thanks for stopping by have a great rest of the day and uh, again merry christmas and have a happy new year so take it easy and goodbye <laughs>